Hola friends, Chuck Bailey with the Bass Channel here and today we are talking about the V24 P4 from Valenti Basses. Let's go! Nino Valenti of Valenti Basses has been making basses for the last 20 years. What started as a need to bring something up to his standards as the available instruments to his taste were severely lacking, he began his luthier journey. Nino started making basses in the early 2000s, cutting his teeth with the likes of Mike and Mike Jr. of Maggio Music and Sadowski Guitars. Nino would take all of the info and all of the trade secrets that he learned to hold his work to a higher standard and this is the result of those trials and tribulations. Now Nino offers a few different models ranging from Jazz, P, and PJ, a homage to one of the most underrated basses ever, Mr. Robert DeLeo, and definitely my favorite model. Go check out Nino beasting on this particular bad boy in his music project, Unglued STP Tribute. I love 90s rock and grunge, but enough of my 90s nostalgia, let's get into this bass. The Valenti V24 P4 is a classic styled bass with modern accompaniments comfort, ergonomics, and sonic delivery on every level you could hope to have. This custom series weighs in at 8 pounds, $3,250 and comes with a gig bag. Alder body, Olympic white finish, tort pick guard, graphite reinforced maple neck, pow ferro fretboard, one and a half inch nut width, 34 inch scale, a hip shot B style bridge, 19 millimeter spacing, and hip shot ultralight tuning gears. Comes loaded with the Nordstrand NP J4 SE pickups and the Nordstrand two band preamp with VTC. All the tones that you're hearing, we've been using through the Kemper Profiler. Um, uh, myself, Josh, and Will 
Oh, I had three different profiles that were uh, utilized for this video. All of my tones for this video were through the Kemper Profiler, uh, the GK Fusion, set flat, through a GK210 cap. <laughs> Josh was using the 8200B through a dark glass 410C cabinet. using the SVT set flat through an Ampeg 810 cap. That about does it for the P4, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. There were some things about this base that I really dug and some things that I wasn't too crazy about. Um, you can catch all of that on the Patreon page if you're not already subscribed to that. It's very easy to do. You can check that link below. Uh, hit the bell for notifications too when we have other demos come through. Um, I'll give you some quick tidbits on the base. I really dug the body style, really dug the electronics. Not a huge fan of Pal Faro, um, but it still wasn't terrible. Uh, I, I'm kind of biased towards that because I've had bad experiences with things that have Pal Faro fretboards, but this base was pretty solid overall. Uh, thank you again for watching. We appreciate you guys. Thanks to Nino for uh, working with us on this. The base was rad. If you guys want to go uh, check out Nino's other builds and stuff, his link will be below. Until next time, this is Chuck Bailey with the Base Channel. See you guys later. Thank mm -hmm. you.